Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about some new items at the Dior counter. Now, I picked these up a while ago, but I just never got around to doing it. You know, I pick up a lot of makeup and there's a lot of new collections, so it's one of those things that I had the items and I kind of just like forgot to actually try them out, but today we're testing them out and I'm gonna give you guys a review and my thoughts and opinions on these products. So what am I talking about exactly? The first one, Dior Skin Nude Luminizer Blush 011 Plum Pop, and the Dior Limited Edition Three Colors Trio Bleak Eyeshadow Palette. This is number 853 Rosy Canvas. I've already primed and prepped my face. I have my iced coffee here on the side. Let's take a second to take a sip of our iced coffee or our hot coffee, and let's dive into the video. So I went with the rosy palette and the plum blush because I wanted to stick with the same theme. I wanted something that would look good together. So hopefully that works out in today's video. Now, the three eyeshadow palette here retails at 85 Canadian plus tax, and the blush retails at 65 Canadian plus tax. So I think I'll start off with the eyes first because that's usually what I do. So what I'll start off by doing is going into the last shade in the eyeshadow quad. Eyeshadow quad? No, <laughs> eyeshadow palette. So the last one on the bottom, I believe this is the only matte one in the palette here. So I'm gonna take this dark pink one and I'm gonna place it on the mobile lid and then just blend it out. So I hope you guys all had a good week, a good weekend. It's technically Monday that I'm filming this, so that's why I said weekend. Um, I had my ballet recital on Sunday, yesterday, and I am just wiped out. Like last night I slept 11 hours and I could have slept more. I think I will do a makeup look on the makeup that I had at the recital because I posted about it on Instagram and a lot of you liked it, so I'll be doing that soon. Okay, so this is going on really nicely. I like how opaque this pink is. It's not like a flashy neon pink. It's like more of like a dusty, pinky, mauvey color. Okay, I'm gonna go into a separate brush that's a bit more tapered, it's a bit more pointed. As always, I will put a link down below to the brushes that I used, so if you have any questions about which brushes that I used to apply the makeup, just go check down in the description box. I'm gonna go back into the same matte pink shade and I'm just gonna build this in the crease. Okay, going in with a separate clean blending brush, I'm just gonna buff this out. So taking the tapered end of a dual-sided brush, I'm just gonna go back into the pink shade and just trace under the bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the middle swipe or the middle layer, and using a finger, I'm just gonna tap this on the mobile lid. Oops. I just bumped into my metal straw. So this is very shiny and pretty. Let me go ahead and just finish up the face makeup because I do want to try out this blush. I'm going to go in with the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I did use a first layer, a first pump like a primer and I'm going to use a second one as like the foundation. I am going through this like pretty fast. As you can see here, you can tell like how much I'm using. I think this is an item that I will definitely purchase again as soon as I am out. I am in the shade called Medium. And then for the concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I am in the shade Medium 1 Custard. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more of the pink shadow under the lash line here just because the concealer erased a little bit of it, so I just wanted to make it pop out a little bit more. Now let's go into our blush. This one looks so beautiful and stunning, and again, it has like the beautiful nude packaging or nude um, embossing here, and so I'm kind of hesitating to dig in because it's so wonderful, but 
I bought it to use it, so I'm, I think I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna go in lightly at first because I have a suspicion that it is quite pigmented, and I don't want to go to ham. This is really nice because when you see it in the packaging here, it does look a bit iridescent. Maybe not iridescent, but it has like a, a nice shimmer reflection to it. But as I'm wearing it, it doesn't look like a glitter chunk. It just looks nice and luminous. So as you can see, there is some radiance on the cheek, but it's not like a glitter chunk. It just looks radiant and it does catch the light a little bit as you move. And as you can see, the color can sheer out. Like, I know that if I wanted to, I could build this up to be more intense. But just like this, I think this is like a perfect blush for just like every day. Like, it doesn't have to be like more intense. But if you have darker skin tone or you could easily, you could, well, you could easily use this as an eyeshadow too. I think this would be really nice as well. This blush is really pretty. Okay, I'm going to throw on some mascara to finish up the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dior Pump and Volume HD mascara. And then for the lip, I'm gonna keep it pretty pink. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Rouge Allure 165 Eblouissant. It's just this really nice, lovely pink color. I'm gonna go into the top layer, the top shade of the palette here, and I'm gonna place this on the inner corner of the eye. Okay guys, this is the finished look. It looks very pretty in pink. I love it. Um, so here are my thoughts. I think that the pink palette, what is it called? Number 853, Rosy Canvas. I do like the colors. However, there's only one matte. The matte is very nice, but the other two um, shadows are glitter. Not glitter, but they're very sparkly. I think that this might be difficult to wear for someone who is looking for a workplace or work appropriate look. I mean, this is really pretty, but I know that a lot of you watch me, you work in like professional settings, you work in law, you are like, you know, you know what I mean? Like you guys work in like professional offices and maybe this is not the type of shadow you want to wear to work for a board meeting or something that I appreciate. I think if you want a pink um, palette, if you like pink shadows, I think if you are looking to add to your collection, this could be a good item to purchase. But I think if you're looking for like the first palette you buy, the one um, eyeshadow palette that will be your ride or die, like the one eyeshadow palette you can use every day for work, I don't think this is going to be it, not this particular shade. I know that there are other shades to choose from in this collection. I only picked up the pink one, but yeah, just like keep that in mind. As far as the blush goes, I really like it. I think that between the two of like, I think between the blush and the eyeshadow, I think the blush is more everyday, user-friendly for everyone. I think this type of color is really pretty. Again, it has a little bit of shimmer, a bit of radiance. If you are someone who wants a bit more glow to your skin tone, if you want your skin to have a bit more radiance, this type of blush is for you. And there's also a coral color. My friend Penny tried it and didn't like it, but I don't know if anyone else has tried it and liked it. Um, but yeah, I think the blush is just more like everyday goof proof just apply it that being said i still like the pink eyeshadow i just don't think that it's like like i know my audience and i know a lot of you just work in corporate worlds and this might not be the type of look you want to wear to a board meeting so yeah <laughs> these are my thoughts on these two new dior items let me know down in the comments what you guys think of today's look let me know what you think of these items have you picked up the blush or the eyeshadow trio, have you picked up other colors? I know, I think there's four colors to choose from, so let me know down in the comments. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.